Hello everyone and welcome back to another MRC chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game we have Osip Bernstein with the white pieces and his opponent is Jose Raul Capablanca with the black pieces. And Bernstein was one of the first ever chess grandmasters in the chess history. He became a grandmaster from 1950 and he was also the chess champion of Moscow. So, pretty strong professional chess player and let's see what happened in this chess game. So Bernstein starts the game with pushing the d-pawn, d5, c4, queen's gambit declined. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, bishop out, bishop out, and castling by Capablanca. Bernstein pushed to e-pawn, developing the knight, rook over, b6, c takes on d5, e takes on d5, and queen out, bishop out, hoping to exchange the bishops, Capablanca did, exchange the bishops he was fine with simplifying the chess game and then capablanca pushed the c-pawn immediately charging to the center of bernstein bishop takes on f6 knight takes on f6 capturing the pawn maybe we can say that capablanca has a better grip in the center castling and now queen out by capablanca and hoping to exchange the queens if exchanging the queens of course, black is going to capture back with the a pawn and the a file is open and that is also cementing the position and black has a connected pawns. So, Bernstein didn't want that. He is retreating the queen and then pushing the c pawn. Rook slides over to d1, targeting the d pawn, defending knight to d4, bishop out. And now, Capablanca is placing his bishop on b4, pushing the pawn. Well, Bernstein's idea is simple. He wants to capture the pawn and create an isolated pawn for Capablanca. And if capturing the pawn, if cb, then ab, and again, black has an isolated pawn on d5. What now? In any case, black is going to have an isolated pawn, which is going to be difficult to defend. So, Capablanca is at least placing his rook behind the pawn. And he has an isolated pawn, lifting the rook, but Capablanca is simplifying the game. And then knight in. Rook goes back, defending the rook, and pushing the pawn. Doubling the rooks, and now targeting the pawn, and if white can bring his knight, to an attacking square, he is going to attack the pawn. But now Capablanca is hoping to double the rooks and support his pawn. Okay, so in this position, Bernstein played knight to b3, attacking the rook. Rook to c6. Attacking the rook again, and we have a very important move by Jose Raul Capablanca. What would you do in this position? The rook is under attack and white is planning to capture the pawn. He is not, he doesn't want Capablanca to double his rooks from the c file. So in this position, after knight to d4, Capablanca played rook to c7. He is inviting his opponent to play knight to b5, forking the rook and the pawn. And that is a tempting move. Actually, knight to b3 would be more convenient, would be more precise. But in this position, Bernstein goes for that. He is going, he is going for it. Knight to b5, forking the rook and the pawn. And it looks like Capablanca is going to lose a pawn. So this is forking the rook and the pawn. Capablanca did, oh my god, my pawn. He played rook to c5 and he is pretending like he is losing a pawn. Well, white happily captured the pawn, knight takes on c3, knight takes, rook takes on c3, rook takes, rook takes on c3. What is wrong with grabbing a pawn? Capablanca is a pawn down, but there is one slight downside for white. What would you do in this position for black? 
Capablanca for Sindus when he played Rook to C6. He has foreseen that. Can you see what Capablanca has seen in this position? It is black to move. What would you do? So in this position, it is easily winning material. So Capablanca deliberately played rook to c7, so this is a very tempting move. Forking the rook and the pawn. And then capturing the pawn, exchanging everything, and black is a pawn down. If I give you 3 seconds, can you guess the next move of Jose Raul Capablanca? Well, queen to b1 is not working at all because queen goes back and if you think rook to d1 is going to work, that is not going to work for black. Okay, that is pinning the queen, but then there is a back rank threat. Rook to c8, rook goes back, rook takes rook, checkmate. So, of course, queen to b1 is not working and if exchanging the queens, that is going to be in white's favor. So, what would you do in this position? Your time is starting from now. Okay, so in this position, Jose, Raul, Capablanca played the move and his opponent resigned. Unbelievable. Capablanca played queen down to b2. And Bernstein resigned. What a move by Capablanca. An incredibly beautiful, elegant touch by Jose Raul Capablanca. What a beauty. Bobby Fischer once said Capablanca had a real light touch. He was right. So chess is also a psychological game with playing rook to c7. Capablanca invited his opponent to play knight to b5 and then forking the rook and the pawn, knight takes on c3, simplifying the game. But Capablanca foreseen this. What a player. Well, of course, why did Bernstein resign? Nothing works for Bernstein. If capturing the queen, then rook down, check, mate. So capturing the queen is off the table, is out of questions. But isn't this working? Rook to c2. Then this time check. Queen goes back, which is the only sensible defense, and then capturing the rook, and this is all over for white. Fantastic. And after this move, finally what happens if queen to e1? Isn't this just simply defending everything, defending the queen, defending the rook, and defending the back rank? So if I give you a couple of seconds, can you guess the next move of black? Black plays a move, and white is losing immediately. So one, two, and three. So this is the move. Queen takes on c3. Did you see this? Capturing the queen, rook down, queen back, rook takes on e1. Check mate. Fantastic. Incredible. And did you see this move? Queen to b2 by Jose Raul Capablanca. Actually, Bernstein played pretty decently against Capablanca, but he didn't see queen to b2. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed watching this beautiful chess game by Capablanca. And I hope to see you next time with more spectacular chess games by Capablanca and by some other chess giants from the history of chess. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and bye bye.